Do you know about the civilian law laws of Ebony State? Welcome back to our intriguing episode of Ebony State. There are people whose lives serve as inspiration and whose contribution to Nigerian politics have a long-lasting effect, especially in Ebony State. In this episode, we are going to explore the past civilian law laws of Ebony State and the impact they have had on the state as law laws. They have played a pivotal role in its regeneration, making them key figures in the state's political landscape. This law laws has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities and have been instrumental in driving positive change and development in Ebony State. Their visionary leadership and dedication to Ebony State have elevated Ebony State to new heights by focusing on key areas such as infrastructure, education, health care, agriculture and rural development. These governors have laid a strong foundation for the state's continued progress. So buckle up, smash that like button and let's dive into the world of Ebony State. At number one is Sao Omini Egu. He is a well-known Nigerian politician and the first civilian governor of Ebony State. Egu's trajectory amplifies tenacity, resilience, and a strong dedication of public service from his early years and academic endeavors. Born on June 20, 1954 in the Ebony State town of Azambu, in Ohauku local government area, Egu gained a direct understanding of the ideals of community, commitment, and the value of education while growing up. During these formative years, he developed a strong sense of pride in his Nigerian heritage and a desire to improve the lives of his fellow citizens. The initial stages of Egu's life and his school experiences provided a strong basis for his future political career. He developed his knowledge and abilities in agriculture from his modest origins in the rural area of Ebony State state to his academic accomplishment at the University of Nigeria in Suka at Enugu State University of Science and Technology, ESU. He has the skills needed to improve the lives of his fellow Nigerians. Ego entered politics due to his dedication to public service and his desire to transform Nigerian socio-economic system. His upbringing and education acted as catalysts to prepare him for the difficulties and obligations he would serve as a leader. He served as the governor of Ebony State from May 29, 1999 to May 29, 2007, was preceded by Simon Oduoye and succeeded by Matis Alechi. In his capacity as governor, Ego carried out a number of programs and initiatives aimed at advancing education, social economic development, infrastructure development, and better governance in Ebony State. Ego's political career took off after he was elected governor of Ebony State. He significantly aided the growth and advancement of Ebony State throughout his tenure in office. After his two years of outstanding leadership, he was given the award of Commander of the Order of Ninja CON on February 26, 2002, and also acquired a DSC Honoris Causa by the University of Nigeria in Suka and Ebony State University Abakliki in the years 2006 and 2008, respectively. As number two is Chief Martin Elechi. He was the second civilian governor of Ebony State, born on February 7, 1941, at Ohauko Village, Alike in Iko local government area of Ebony State. He married Chief Mrs. Josephine Elechi, and they are blessed with children and grandchildren. He started his elementary education at Native Authority School in 1954. This foundation paved the way for his future academic endeavors and instilled in him a desire to learn and a drive to succeed. Elechi continued his secondary school at Merino Secondary School in Oku. Ogoja Cross River State, building on his basic schooling. Here, he polished his cerebral powers and discovered a love of study. The tale of Martin Elechi is one of inspiration and tenacity. He served as the governor of Ebony State from May 29, 2007 to May 29, 2015. He was preceded by Sam Egu and succeeded by David Umani. His accomplishment as the past governor and economist, educator, and significant political figure are proof of his strength of will and leadership. Martin Elechi is a bright example of what can be accomplished through unshakable dedication and a never-ending quest for greatness. Elechi has been conferred with numerous titles, awards, and recognition at all levels, including Member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFR, Ochudo, Idejiolo, Ahaji Agamba, and Ochimba. At number three is Engineer David Meze Umai. He was the third civilian governor of Ebony State, born on July 25, 1964, to the royal family of Elder Joseph Umai Mwezi and Mrs. Margaret Umai of Umunaga, Uburu, in Oazira, local government area of Ebony State. He married Chief Mrs. Rachel Umai and they are blessed to children. He graduated with honors from Enugu State University of Science and Technology with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. He previously served as deputy governor from 2011 to 2015 and governor 
governor from May 29, 2015 to May 29, 2023, respectively. He is currently the Minister of Works. He was preceded by Chief Marcus Elechi and succeeded by Francis Mwifuru. During Umai's tenure, he oversaw a number of measures aimed at improving the state's social welfare and economy. His active construction of road infrastructure, which connected hetero isolated communities and improved transit inside the state, was one of his most important accomplishments. In all regions of Ebony State, the government of Umai gives special attention to rural development, accessibility enhancement, and social economic growth promotion. The administration of Umai launched a number of agricultural programs and policies to increase production and give farmers more authority after realizing the enormous potential of agriculture to improve the state's economy. With considerable investment in cutting-edge farming equipment and machinery and the development of agro processing companies, Ebony State under his leadership underwent a spectacular transformation from subsistence farming to commercial agriculture. Along with raising food production, these measures also improved farmer living standards and provided job possibilities. David Umai's legacy will continue to motivate upcoming generations of Nigerian leaders as a politician committed to development and the welfare of his community. I remembered it was God that said to David, remember I took you from following sheep. I remember the land of Ebony. I remembered the toys of the founding fathers. I remember that nobody gave us a space. This is all we have for you today. Let us know in the comment section which of these civilian governors mentioned in this episode is your favorite. Drop your comments below and say a word to them. So I come your way next time. Have an excellent time and thanks for watching.